Hello everyone, M4J here and welcome back to Stags to Riches here on Football Manager 2022. I nailed it this time, I'm pretty sure I'm going to mess it up next time. Um, welcome then to the proper series, this is episode one, this is where it all begins. Last week was just a warm up, uh, got the first match out of the way. Since then, we've had a whole pre-season, you can see we've had some wins, we've had some losses. This one here hurt against Dulwich Hamlet, so I think it was 3-2 at half time. Uh, it says somewhere, or it used to, maybe it doesn't anymore. But yeah, went on to lose. Um, the squad, before I get into the match proper, you can see some of the star ratings has changed. I haven't done much here, actually. Uh, I mentioned in the chat last week during the premiere, one thing I did do was give everyone a, a um, physical stat buff. Let's choose Berland as an example. So he's a little bit quicker than he was before. And that's basically because during one of the matches, it was against um, Phoenix Sports here. We lost 7-0. And every single one of my players looked like they were running through treacle. Um, they were just too slow. Too slow, too weak, struggling. So um, I gave them a little um, buff in the physical stats, pace, stamina, strength. Mainly those three. A couple got acceleration as well. Um, and you can see it paid off because we immediately got a one-all draw. We did then win. We had a couple of heavy defeats, although the Billericke won again. Take that with a pinch of salt. It's Billericke. Uh I mean, Shaquille Coulthurst scored a hat-trick against us. And if you didn't know who he is, he played for Peterborough at one point, didn't he, Coulthurst? Yeah. Uh, for quite a lot of money they paid for him as well. He only scored, <laughs> he only scored four goals in two seasons. Oh, dear. Um, and then, yeah, he travelled around a little bit. Now he's at uh, Billericke. Um, but yeah, overall, good preseason. Pretty happy. Got the team up to uh, to uh, code, I was going to say. That's not the word I was looking for. Up to scratch. That's the word I was looking for. Got the team up to scratch. Uh, in terms of the tactics, this is the 11 I'm going for for our first game of the season. So we're playing well in Garden City under 23s. It's the big local rivalry. It's the well in Hatfield derby. Um, although it's not technically the well in Hatfield derby because we're playing their under 23s, but it all counts. Um, and we've got Murray in goal. A back four of Argent, Furby, Morris and Torres. Midfield duo of Gadger and Hammond. Advanced midfield of Harwood, Vieira and Lingard. With the inverted uh, inside forward and inverted winger. Hopefully um, coming up with the goods. And then we've got Berland up front. Bench is a two. Sadler, Egbo, who's been promoted from the under 23s. Studholm and Matoko, who's also been promoted from the under 23s. Pretty good, strong bench. I thought we had a seven-man bench at this level, but I think it's been changed to five. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's three subs still. So, slight pain in the ass that one. I was hoping to, to have a little bit more flexibility. You can also see Ruben Vieira's picked up a slight injury. It's nothing too serious from what I can see. Four to nine days with a gash lower leg. Sounds painful, but at least he's not out for too long. Um, there's a really weird noise going off outside. I think someone's engine squeaking hopefully it's not my car um apologies if the microphone picked that up by the way so yeah this this is the the team i'm going with i think it's a pretty strong team you can imagine berlin swapping out for Vieira when um he's back fit and maybe sadler coming into the starting 11 every so often in place of morris um and obviously giving players like akimpong Moswala, and cassell a go in the team as well but I thought we'd start off with experience over youth in this case. Oh, for the most part, experience over youth. We have still got Harwood, who's 18. Furby, who's 19. I mean, Murray's only 19. And Torres, 21. You know, Argent's only 22. Boy, I'm jealous. Seeing the ages of some of these players, I am very, very jealous. I am going to switch Argent to a no-nonsense. I would like to see him get forward. More. Actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I am going to keep him at... Uh, I'm going to put him on automatic, actually. Because... Um, if Harwood drifts inside, I wouldn't mind Argent running the channel there and making up the um, the numbers. So yeah, no match plan. I'm going to do this all solo. I did get the match plan working during pre-season. Um, I had an interesting thing happen to me, actually. Before we start the match, I'll tell you this story. Uh, so I've been playing my journeyman save off camera. And I did okay. I've just been sacked from um, Berliner Mallard United. And I've gone to Slough Town now in the um, National League South. So hopefully it's my first time, oh no, second time managing in England. Technically I was at Merthyr Town, which is Welsh, but they play in the English leagues. 
I, sure, whatever. Um, but my match plans stopped working. They stopped making subs. The formations and everything were still changing, but they stopped making subs. Turns out, Sports Interactive, quite slyly, but also very, very usefully for me, added a new part of the match plan where you can actually decide whether subs are made or not. Um, I love it. I love it so much because it's something that I feel has been missing from the game now for a couple of years. Your assistant will no longer make random substitutions in the 16th minute of a match uh, if you tell him not to in the first half of matches, which is very, very helpful. Thank you, SI, for uh, for adding that feature in. Would have been nice if they told me because all my match plans updated and they didn't have subs enabled, so I had to go through and, and tweak them all. But now I know that. It's awesome. Very, very happy. Uh, anyway couple of minutes into the game here we do move the ball around quite nicely as well it's something I've noticed and that's a good ball from Arjun out to Vieira who does like to get in the wide positions as well and he's pulled it back for Arjun Arjun with the shot wow was not expecting him to um, even get that far forward never mind have a pop at goal not bad effort just a little bit over the bar unfortunately um, yeah Vieira likes to get wide and I should have Remembered that, actually, because he can cover... When Harwood drifts inside, Vieira can go out, out wide and make up the num numbers. Um, that was a good move there from Furby. Interesting ball choice there from Gadger. Uh, Berland is kind of isolated up front right now. You can see the wingers are quite deep. <clears throat> then again, their centre-back line is on the halfway line. So maybe... Potential, oh dear, I thought that was in. Potential counter-attack opportunities. But again, we're still not the fastest in the league. I just gave them a, a minuscule buff just to make them competitive in matches. Uh, a lot of the time we're relying on defensive mistakes and lucky bounces when it comes to balls over the top. Gadger, that's a nice, oh, good back heel as well. Gadger with the shot, clawed away from the goalkeeper there. Was it Beetle, his name? Gadger, of course, scored his first goal for us last season year against Welling Garden City under 23s it was an absolute barnstormer of a shot last minute winner as well uh, if he could pull something like that out of the bag today I would be very very grateful Harwood recycling the corner into the box do I have full no I don't have full match on do I no I've got key that's fine so yeah we've got two matches today I can't remember if I said that or not we've got this one and then we've got Glen Sports at home for the first home game of the season um, and they're the big big ones we're going to focus on. Just to get the season up and running. Oh, Hammond. That was a good opportunity as well. He shouldn't really be on free kicks. Not from these areas anyway. Deep free kicks, don't mind. But not direct ones. Might have to go change that. That was a hell of a ball from Berland as well. Good header from Harwood. Good catch from the goalkeeper. I think it's fair to say that we're, we're on top in this game. 68% possession. Uh, seven times as uh, sorry, three times as many shots, three times as many on target, but not getting complacent just yet. Would still like to see us uh, score a goal before half time. That's not good from Gadger, and that's a good ball over the top, which has exposed Morris here. Need a good save from Murray. Okay, off target. I'm okay with that, but boy, did we get lucky there. Very, very lucky. I would have preferred it if uh, Gadger hadn't given the ball away like that. Stupid little back heels and flicks and tricks and stuff. I'm never a fan of, especially when they're given away like that. Um, and I don't really know what Morris was doing. He was trying to play offside. I'm pretty sure the guy was in his own half when he started the run. So, uh, yeah. Um, right, into the second half. I'm actually tempted to bring Morris off because he's looking a bit tired and his rating isn't good. That was awful there from Torres. And he's lost his man and that's 1-0. Daniel Hammond with the goal. That is not how I wanted to start the season. So, I think one of the problems... Also, there's a you have to click confirm changes now as well, which I've fallen foul of. I, I would put that down as Torres' fault. Um... Hammond there made the run between the two centre-backs, so you could argue one of them should have picked him up, maybe. But, yeah, I'm putting that down as um, fault of Torres for not winning the header. Let's go with a slightly narrower... We'll go pass into space. This should actually all be um, set up for... Yeah, I need to go through and change this, I think. Uh, work ball into box is fine. Be more expressive. We won't play for set pieces yet. 
counter. I think that's something else that we need to um, to work on. And then out of possession, we'll go with a much higher line of engagement. Force the opposition on the outside. And, I mean, we might as well get stuck in at this point. What have we got to lose? There's a throw in. Vieira with the interception. I thought that was Harwood for a second, but it wasn't. Finds Berlin. Berlin goes for goal. Oh, what a goal. Nathan Berlin scoring our first goal. First proper goal. Competitive goal of the series here. Lovely little back heel flick to, to make the turn. And then a beautiful curling effort off the crossbar as well, which football purists will always say, if it kisses the crossbar on the way in, it already makes it a much better goal. Look at that. The swerve on that shot. That was insane. Right, let's get Studholm on for Harwood here. Uh, again, is there a button I need to... Nope, apparently that one just works. Okay. This game is a bit sporadic sometimes with whether or not it wants to just work or not, or whether you have to do an extra step. Don't know if I like that. Torres there, lucky. Again, missing the header, and he could have fouled his man there, but he was quite fortunate in that he didn't. Lingard now with the run, finds Berland, back to Hammond, forward to Vieira, finds Lingard. And again, stupid little back flick, didn't work. Because Torres overcommitted, they've now got Roberts here. Is Torres going to get back? He's forcing him wide, that's a foul is it? Yes it is. Is that a... Yep, sent off, okay. That's not gone well. Um... In that case, what I might do is swap Vieira for Harwood. Have Vieira as an inverted winger still, that's fine. We'll move Harwood back into... Hang on, I need the tactic screen for this. Move Harwood back into the right-back position. And then we'll bring on a two. To play as a wing-back set to attack. Uh, special moment. I mean, it says enjoy your debut. I think he's been around for three, four years now at Hatfield. But sure. Not ideal, that red card. Bit sloppy there from Torres. Uh, he's a better player than that. I can tell you from personal experience, he's a better player than that. So a little bit disappointed. Um, but yeah, what can you do? Lingard off. I think we'll bring Matoko on because he can play right wing. I know, this one I have to hit confirm changes again. It's weird. All right, five minutes of injury time. I want um, us to make some more chances. So let's go with low crosses. I'll take that off. Shoot on sight. Hit early crosses is fine. Play for set. Actually, no, that's a time-wasting thing, I think. Much more direct. Much higher tempo. We'll turn that off. We'll let players do as they wish there. Distribute quickly. We'll also go to the fullbacks. Uh, we'll throw it long. And then out of possession. I mean, what have we got to lose at this point? Just got to go for it, haven't we? Hopefully we get another highlight. I'm starting to think we might not, though. We're actually not. That's annoying. Okay. One all draw. Not the best way to start the season. The lads overall were unlucky today. Uh, where is Torres? Can't get sent off in a match like this. Made our lives so much harder. It did as well. It did make our lives harder. I'm not that impressed with that, to be honest. It was a stupid challenge. He didn't have to do it. He could have just held it up. Um, but yeah. Gonna have to come up with a right back solution for the next match. Let's do the press conference. We'll show you that on screen as well. That was a, an immense goal from, uh, from Berlin. Great moment. He'll start banging them in. I hope. Hopefully he will, yeah. Uh, must be proud following the response of your team in reaction to the dismissal. That's a really long way of saying that sentence, by the way. Uh, yeah, could have folded, but we didn't. All square in your first competitive match. We deserved the win, to be fair. We made so many more chances. Fabulous strike. He was quality today. Again, I didn't, I didn't give him any stats boosts or anything. That just seems to have happened. I don't know where that's come from. Um, ugly challenge from Torres, yeah. You might have to sit out a few matches. I think that's fair. It's not 
not the best way to get off to a, a good start to be sent off like that. It was a stupid, stupid challenge. Uh, I mean, uh, I can't find him because we're an amateur team right now. I'm not appealing it though. Definitely not. All right, Berlin did well. Completed 91% of his passes as well, which is pretty good. All right, we'll put a cut in here then, guys. We'll come back in a second for the second match of the episode, which is against uh, Glenn Sports, who I believe have folded in real life or quit the league. I don't actually know the full details of that. But hopefully we'll come back and we'll beat them anyway. So it's all well and good. All right, match number two then against Glenn Sports. And I've decided to tweak things up a little bit. So I've made a couple of changes to the lineup. Obviously, we had the enforced one because of Torres' suspension. But um, I've switched the formation. We're now going with a 4-4-2 or a 4-2-4, depending on how you want to look at it. We've got Murray in goal. Back four of Argent, Furby, Sadler replacing Morris and Grant replacing Torres. Midfield duo of Kotoko replacing Gadger and Hammond uh, replacing himself because he was in the first game. Vieira, uh, that is Luis Vieira, moves out onto the left wing. Uh, Lingard remains on the right-hand side and then Berland up front as a target man this time alongside Cassell, who will be making his debut. Bench is a two, Morris, Egbo, Harwood and Matoko. So similar bench, but I just wanted to tweak things up a little bit, test out this formation as well. Hopefully it's not going to cost us, but we'll see how we go. Part of the uh, the name of the game in this series is not playing the same formation twice as well if we can help it. Obviously, you can destabilize a team by constantly tweaking the formation and the uh, the lineup, so I don't want to go too far with it. But at the same time, I do want to play around a little bit and um, not do the same thing enough that the AI gets used to it, basically. Right, corner from the right. Lingard swings it in, headed away. Vieira collects. Uh, seemed to run into Lingard there. Finds Hammond. Hammond went for goal. Comes back to Sadler. He goes back to Grant. Grant with the up and under. Vieira was offside, but Cassell was onside and he's hit the post. Defender hacks it clear. Hammond to Kotoko. Kotoko goes for goal. And that deflected, actually. I'm surprised. Um, but it goes behind for a corner. Really good effort there from Cassell. Nice little um, feign from... Um, Vieira. Was it Vieira? I think it was Vieira. To pretend to go for it. That came off the back of uh, Sadler, by the looks of things. Uh, it's just disappointing from Berland. I think that's harsh. I don't think that was a bad corner. I think just Sadler didn't head it. Came off his back. Grant with the interception. Up and under. Headed away. Grant, not the best pass for the ball, it seems. Um, that was a very, very lazy pass. Also, have I got the same camera angle here as I do? Yes, I do. Uh, on my laptop it's just screen size makes it look a bit different um we've got it zoomed in as far as possible basically as if we're at the match obviously we're not uh because we wouldn't be levitating 20 foot off the ground but you get the idea kotoko to Vieira then nice little turn inside to berlin playing with his back to goal that's a beautiful pass to hammond then lingard goes for goal and slams it into the top corner what a finish from Calvin Lingard. What a goal. So we've scored two goals so far this uh, this season. And they have both been absolute worldies. We've popped them in uh, both top corners now as well. And because of the camera angles. We get to see a nice little reverse angle here. Beautiful pass here from Berland. Finds Hammond into Lingard. First touch to set himself. Second touch to absolutely blast it. Thunderbolt it into that top corner. Absolutely gorgeous. Ab just yeah. I can't rave enough about how awesome that goal was very very happy what is our um setup here slightly more direct so that explains the long balls over the top uh i think we'll distribute to the full backs i don't really care how and then all of this stuff is fine good stuff yeah happy first time we've led this season as well so you've got to be happy with that um, we're not making that many chances, though. Only five shots, one on target. So we, we are there or thereabouts with the uh, the rest of the teams in the league, which I'm very happy about. I am very, very happy about that. I should probably mention the format of this series as well, because I've kind of been a bit... Keeping my cards close... To cards? Co wow. Keeping my cards close to my chest, he says, eventually. 
Um, so basically, it'll be alternating between streaming and pre-records like this. Uh, streams aren't necessarily going to be full 90-minute matches this year. Uh, it might just be, you know, we play two or three matches. We see how we go. I definitely want to get more people. Oh, that's a bad challenge from Grant. Um, I definitely want to get more people involved in the chat. So 90-minute matches might not be the way to do that. Um, and just, yeah, just have a good time in the streams. I'll tell you more about it in a second. Just want to see what happens with this penalty. Eames runs up to take. Oh, and he's hit the bar. Kotoko hacks it away, but only as far as Harrop. And there's the shot, and it goes over. Did Murray get a touch on that? I don't think he did, because um, Eames would have followed it up if he had. I think we got a bit fortunate there. Um, but yeah, we're going to alternate. So uh, this week, it's obviously a pre-record. Next week will be a stream. The week after that will be a pre-record, and so on. Pre-records are mostly going to be this format, where we... Uh, Oh, that's offside. Where we play two or three matches and, you know, um, I, I might do some 90-minute pre-records because Tom is ready with some graphics for the highlights. And I do want to do highlights again this se uh, se series and season, I suppose, because um, they went down quite well last year and they just were fun to watch, to be honest. <laughs> it's nice to look back sometimes and see how good uh, things were. Um but yeah, the streams won't necessarily be 90 minutes. Sometimes they will be. Sometimes they they might be 90 minute streams, but they won't be 90 minute matches in a stream. Um, but I'll put it on extended highlights and I'll have a separate recording going and we'll create our own highlights reel out of that uh, instead. That's not a bad way of doing it, I don't think. Uh, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck into it. Um, something else that I'm changing this year is the number of matches we play in a season. Because last season I went way too slow. Uh, and we ended up, I think we were in season four, just starting season four, when um, Football Manager 22 came out. So after this episode, uh, the stream next week will probably be the end of season one, which sounds controversial. I'd like to feature the Hearts Senior League as much as possible because I think they deserve the exposure as much as Hatfield. Um, just highlighting lower league football, to be honest. But I do like to skip through the first couple of seasons pretty quickly if I can. So we can start looking at the, uh, you know, the Football League and then eventually the Championship and then the Premier League. So I would put it down to a poll. There's Lingard grabbing his second. Brilliant run and finish. Um, I would put it down to a poll, but unfortunately polls don't seem to get much interaction at the moment. So I think I'm just going to make the executive decision that I might do a stream halfway through the season just to show it off. But... Um, Pretty much, as assuming we get promoted, of course, um, pretty much just want to get through this season and get us into the next league. Excuse me, I've got hiccups as well. Lovely. Get us into the next league as quick as possible um, and actually show, show off more of what this squad is and what it can do. So let me know what you think about that in the comments. There's enough time. If you do want to see more of the season, then do let me know. If you're happy with the old uh, stream and video alternating weeks, let me know as well. I'm just going to see what happens here. Beautiful from Berlin. 3-0. That's what I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, just let me know every, everything, basically. If you're happy with the uh, the setup of the series. If you still... Uh, sorry, if you still... If you do play for Hatfield Town and I've left you out for whatever reason, um, Aiden's been in touch. He's the, uh, the guy who runs the YouTube channel. He also said he's the assistant keeper coach. So I'm going to get him in. I also forgot to add the physio, so he'll be added in as well. I think I've just hired a physio, actually. So after this episode, um, I'll go and change his name um, to match the real-life physio. And I think that's everyone who's come back to me so far. But if I have missed you out for whatever reason, do let me know in the comments below. And I'll get you added in ASAP, because I want uh, as many people from the club to be involved as possible. That's what makes it fun. Uh, for me, at least. Might not make it fun for you, but that's what it makes it... F yeah. Wow, I, I just can't speak today. That's what makes it fun for me. Right, we'll go with a triple change. Bring Morris on for Furby. Harwood on for uh, Vieira. And Matoko on for Cassell. In terms of the um, the formation and everything, I don't really think we need to change too much, to be honest. I think we're, we're pretty happy with how things are going. Lingard, who's on a hat-trick, does well to ride the challenge there. Plays the ball across to Berland, who was tackled, but Matoko picks up possession. Lays it off to Berland. 
Berlin's shot, Berlin's goal, and he's now on a hat trick. That's his third goal of the season in two games. That's incredible. That was a really nice finish as well with the left foot. We'll get to see it from the other angle in a sec. Good ball from Lingard. Touch there. Good challenge from the defender. But um, brilliant play by Matoko to keep the, the ball alive. Look at that. Just dinks it past the keeper. Into the side netting. Jobs are good and 4-0 up. Very, very happy. So was the Welling Garden game an, an outlier, I'm wondering? Or did we just have a rapid improvement in this game? That's an interesting question, actually. Oh, there's a goal back. Jamie Matthews with the header. Bit disappointed about that one, actually. I mean, it's this it's this toss-up right now between... I don't want us to concede loads of goals and draw and lose matches. But I also don't want to win 4-0 every week. That just looks like the defender got in the keeper's way a little bit. It was a bit uh, unsighted. To be honest, the fact they got the ball again here, I'm a little nervous. 4-2 is still a good result, although Sadler there cutting it out. Finding Murray, who booms it long. That was an epic kick. It's a shame no one was chasing after it. Morris with the header. Diaby back inside. Morris to Kotoko. Finds Harwood. Forward to Berland. Matoko again. Uh, did I say Matoko twice? I meant Kotoko. I think I said Kotoko. I don't know. We got Kotoko and we got Matoko. So you'll have to bear with me if I do get them mixed up. Red card there as well. Was it Matthews sent off? I think it was Matthews. Matoko with the free kick just over the bar. Rolled over the top of the net there. Unlucky from him. That looks like it's going to be 4-1 full time maybe. One more chance for them. Throw into Kaya. Oh, Grant. Excellent interception there. And gets it clear. Matoko with the flick on. Berland running in. He's on a hat trick here. Is he going to get it? He goes for goal. That's a good save from the keeper. Had every right to have a go. When you're on a hat trick, last minute of the game, why not have a chance there? And he so nearly put it away. That was an excellent clawed save from the keeper. Uh, despite conceding a penalty, Grant scored an 8.0. And I think he was our third highest. He was. So Lingard, man of the match, then Berland, then Grant. Uh, in terms of the subs, Furby a bit disappointed, but he might not have had much to do in, in his defence, although they had 16 shots, 6 on target. They actually had the lion's share of possession as well. Um, Vieira, 6.9. Cassell, 6.9. He did well, though. He, he got the assist, didn't he, for um, Berland's first goal? I think he did. Uh, Matoko did well when he came on, though. Harwood, a little bit quiet on the left-hand side. Everything seemed to go down the right. Um, but then he came on for Vieira, so maybe this, the left-hand side was a bit isolated anyway. They both struggled. Uh, also, good performance from Hammond. Kotoko as well in midfield, giving Gadger a run for his money. Argent is just Argent. He's always good. Uh, and Sadler, solid job in the, in the back four as well. Very, very happy with that performance. Very, very happy with both performances, to be fair. I'd have liked to have beaten Wellingarden, but at least we didn't lose. We got the local pride still. Uh, and we're currently fourth in the table. Three goals uh, to the good in terms of the goal difference. Four points out of six. Fourth place in the league. Not a bad start, if I do say so myself. So yeah, actually now I've said it, I'm leaning more towards streaming a, a match halfway through the season. I don't think we have any cup games this season. I don't think the version of the database I've got has cups. Doesn't look like it. Uh, and I actually don't know where the cups start. So we might miss out on some cup competitions. But I guess that means we can prioritise the league. So I'm thinking maybe round here. Coney Heath reserves. Um, we'll come back. And then we'll come back again week after. Around the end here. Where we got, in fact we've got Coney Heath reserves again. And Cock Fosters. So I think actually we've got Cock Fosters and Coney. Is it literally the same? I think it is you know. Oh, there's a couple of changes. So you look, it's Glen Sports, it's Welling Garden City under 23s, then it's Glen Sports, which is what we've had here, then it's Harefield, which is the same, then it's Chipperfield, which is the same, but then here it's Wingate and Finchley and Ware, whereas here it's Ware and Royston. Wow. Good job, Randomizer. Good job. Anyway, going to leave it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, and if you're enjoying the series. I know we're only technically two episodes, but one episode in at this point, but hit that like button anyway it helps me out drop some comments down below again let me know if you're part of Hatfield and I've missed you out apologies in advance if I have 
Uh, I only went by the info that was given to me. Um, just get in touch as well. If you are playing for Hatfield and you're already in the game and you just want to say hi, feel free to do that too. I'm always happy when the players get in touch. Uh, hopefully I've represented you guys well because you deserve the best. Um, but yeah, get in touch down below. It's what the comment section is for. Besides all that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. That also really helps me out. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Have a good rest of your week. And I know I'm saying that on a Monday. Oh, that's the other thing. Tuesdays is when this, um, this series will normally be going out. But I've had to rearrange my schedule slightly this week. So this is going out on the Monday. So yeah, enjoy the rest of your week. There's quite a lot of it left, but enjoy it anyway. And until next time, I will see you soon.